Hello friends, I am Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Sour YouTube channel. In this video, I am sharing Java Database Connectivity in Trick Questions and Answers. These questions are very useful for freshers and experienced developers. Let us look at one by one. The first question is, what is JDBC? JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It is a Java API that is used to connect and execute query to the database. JDBC API uses JDBC drivers to connect to the database. The next question is, what are the JDBC drivers? JDBC driver is a software component that enables Java application to interact with the database. There are four types of JDBC drivers. They are JDBC, ODBC bridge driver, native API driver, network protocol driver, thin driver. The next question is, what are the steps to connect to the database in Java? So the following are the steps to connect to the database in Java. Step one, first thing is using JDBC, you have to establish a connection to the database. That means registering the driver class. You must load the JDBC driver. Step two, after loading the JDBC driver, then make a connection. That means creating a connection to do this. We can call the get connection method of driver manager class. Step 3. To execute any SQL commands using JDBC connection, you must first create a statement object to create uh, this call. Statement st equal to con dot create statement. This is done by calling uh, the create statement method in connection interface. Step 4. Once the statement is created, you can execute it by calling execute method of the statement interface. That means executing queries. Step 5. Closing connection. The next question is, what are the JDBC API components? The java.sql package contains interfaces and classes for JDBC API. They are, first look at uh, the list out of uh, interfaces connection interface statement interface prepared statement result set result set metadata database metadata callable statement etc now look at classes driver manager blob clob sql exception etc the next question is what is statement statement acts like vehicle through which SQL commands can be sent? Through the connection object, we create statement kind of objects. The next question is, why you need JDBC if ODBC is available? ODBC is purely written in C language, so we cannot directly connect with Java. JDBC is a low-level pure Java API used to execute SQL statements. ODBC is not appropriate for direct use from Java because it uses C language interfaces. Calls from Java to native C language code has number of drawbacks in the security, implementation and robustness. The next question is, does the JDBC ODBC bridge support multiple concurrent open statements for connection no you can open only one statement object for connection when you are using jdbc odbc bridge the next question is is the jdbc odbc bridge multi-threaded no the jdbc odbc bridge does not support concurrent access from different threads the jdbc odbc bridge uses synchronized methods to serialize all of the calls that it makes to the ODBC. The next question is, what is prepared statement? Prepared statements are pre-compiled statements. Once we compile the statements and send it to the server for later use, 
prepared statement or partially compiled statements placed at server side with placeholders. Before execution of these statements, user has to supply values for placeholders. It will increase performance of application. The next question is, what are callable statements? Callable statements are used to retrieve data by invoking stored procedures. Stored procedures are program units placed at a database server side for reusability. These are used by n number of clients. Callable statement will call a single stored procedures. They perform multiple queries and updates without network traffic. The next question is, what is difference between statement and prepare statement interface? In case of statement query is compiled each time, whereas prepare statement query is compiled only once. So performance of prepare statement is better than statement. The next question is, what does the JDBC connection interface? The connection interface maintains a session with the database. It can be used for transaction management. It provides factory methods that returns the instance of statement, prepare statement, callable statement, and database metadata. The next question is, what is JDBC connection pool? When you are going to create a pool of connection to the database, this will give access to a collection of already opened database connections, which will reduce the time it takes to service the request and you can service n number of requests at once. The next question is, how do you implement connection pooling? If you are using an application server like WebLogic, JBoss, Tomcat, then your application server provides the facilities to configure for connection pooling. If you are not using an application server, then components like Apache Commons DBCP component can be used. The next question is, in which interface the method commit rollback save point defined? The answer is java.sql.connection interface. The next question is, how can we store and retrieve images from the database? By using prepared statement interface, we can store and retrieve images. The next question is, what is the use of BLOB, CLOB data types in JDBC? These are used to store large amount of data into database like images, movies, etc., which are extremely large in size. The next question is, why do you have to close database connection in Java? You need to close the result set, the statement, and the connection. If the connection has come from a pool, closing it actually sends it back to the pool for reuse. We can do this in finally block. The next question is, why do you use a batch process? Batch processing allows you group related SQL statements into batch and submit them with one call to the database. The next question is, what does set auto commit do? When a connection is created, it is in auto commit mode. This means that each individual SQL statement is treated as a transaction and will be automatically committed right after it is executed. By setting auto commit to false, no SQL statements will be committed until you explicitly call the, the commit method. The next question is, what is the need to set auto commit mode to false? Because to increase performance, to maintain the integrity of business process, to use distributed transactions. So that's all about some of the frequently asked JDB entry questions for freshers and experienced developers. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share to your friends and also likes our videos. So thank you for visit. Have a nice day.